Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about the brand new Kaali perfume, Eden Sparkling Lychee. I have it right here. This fragrance just launched and let's get into it. So starting off, oh, I just got a package delivered. I might go get that. One second. Okay, mini intermission because I just got a package delivered. <laughs> Why not? I, it's definitely a perfume. This is Paco Rabanne Fame. This is really funny because this is from Influencer, which I don't know if you guys have this app. This is not like an ad or anything. If you make an account, they'll send you products so you can review it. So like they just sent me this because I filled out a quiz. And so I have to like go write a review on Sephora or something. Oh my God, Paco Rabanne Fame. I actually, we saw this at work. It's like a juicy mango sweet scent. That's cool. Okay, who is calling me? Oh, my boyfriend. Hello, babe. How soon? Okay. <laughs> oh my god, things keep getting in the way. Okay. Eden Sparkling Lychee 39. Um, at the back, you can see the keynotes. So there's some rose, a little bit of lychee. It looks really good. It's the standard Kaali packaging, which is pretty beautiful. And I love the pink color. This is a stunning. Is this frosted? No, it's not frosted. It's like, what's the word for this? It's like not completely opaque. I wish I had nails to do ASMR, but it's so pretty. Ugh, my boyfriend's here. You know what? I'm gonna spray this on and see if he gives me a compliment. Ooh, this smells like juicy candy. I got like a candy box from um, Sugarfina, that like popular um, candy store, and it smells like candy gummy bears. I find that this one really smells like a Bath and Body Works perfume. Like it's very synthetic, very juicy. Definitely like appeals to a younger crowd. I don't like that aspect of this, but I do like that aspect of this. I think that this one smells more expensive. And I just, I love lychee. It's one of my favorite notes. Like this smells like, like a lychee candy, which is one of my favorite candies. Like I love like a little bit of a tartness and this has a beautiful, beautiful juicy, I'm not rubbing, I'm just transferring. Juicy tartness. This is so good. This is one of those perfumes, like for me, this is a very Emma perfume. This is a perfume that for me, I just want to like smell. I don't think this is going to be extremely long lasting, but I don't think it's going to be not long lasting. Okay, I have to go. Be right back. Okay, I'm filming. I'm going to go give him a hug and see what he thinks. Hey, how are you? Blue really? <laughs> Bubblegum and blue raspberry? Oh. <laughs> Really? <laughs> Are you recording me? Yes. Okay, I am back. Sorry about the intermission. It probably didn't feel like much time to you guys. It was probably about 20 minutes. <laughs> My boyfriend just came to visit me. He loved the fragrance. I filmed his reaction to it. I didn't say anything. I just like, went up, gave him a hug, and he's like, oh my god, you smell like bubble gum. I'll put it in, but it was really cute. So I just like visited with him for a little bit, and then I got another package in the mail. Um, so let's open it. I know you guys clicked on for this video, but I keep getting intermissions. Also, this box smells like milk. This is the new Le Monde Gourmand scent, which is supposed to be like, I don't even know. I think it's supposed to be like a creamy orange scent or something. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, maybe I'll review this on TikTok. Mmm. Oh, it smells like a cocktail. Okay, I love that. That's really good. Okay, back to the fragrance. I find that the fragrance dries down almost soapy, like once you've had it on your skin while, like it goes very clean and kind of soapy if anything. The opening is really juicy and beautiful, but this isn't the most long lasting fragrance you'll ever smell. I don't know if I get similar DNA from these two. Yeah, usually flanker scents have a little bit of kind of a similar DNA, and I don't know if I find these to smell similar at all, but we can see. there's a hint of a similarity i really strongly believe that this smells like juicy gummy candies like this specific sugar fina candy that i'll link um or i'll like put a photo of it's really good i reviewed it in my because they partnered with like philosophy for one of philosophy's recent launches or sorry these candies and they smelled exactly like this perfume <sighs> mm. I love this. This is so fun. Like, this is such a treat. This is gonna be for those of you who like Angel Nova Eau de Toilette from Mugler. That's probably the most similar thing I can compare it to. And it doesn't smell as much like Eden. Eden is so strongly like apple, apple kind of Bath and Body Works smell. I find that 
I don't know, I just find that like lychee as a note. Maybe this is just my opinion because I didn't grow up wearing lychee smells that I don't really consider this to be a super, super young scent. Like, it's definitely simple. I don't know, my boyfriend said it smelled like bubblegum and my friend said it smelled like Bath and Body Works, so it's definitely on that like younger, fruitier, fun, playful scent. And I love it. Like, I just, I really like it. But this is a perfume that I feel like I could drink. Like, if this was a cocktail, I know that um, some brands, when they, like, launch perfumes, will launch, like, cocktails to smell like it in their PR mailers or at their events. And I just think going to an event for this, if there was, like, a cocktail that tasted like, tasted like this, I would go crazy for this. This is for the girls who like fruity cocktails. This is for the girls who like the lychee jelly candies. I don't find a lot of similarity between the two, but I don't know. I just don't find them... I don't find them to be very similar, which to me is a very positive thing because I don't really like Eden that much. I like it um, in layering combinations. I've layered this and enjoyed it as like a layering scent, but I don't like it as much. I like this more. I don't like this on its own. I like this on its own. I'm gonna have to do like a layering combination. Um, in terms of longevity, fruity scents, like scents like this, like fruity light scents generally don't last that long. I'm gonna give it maybe max like four or five hours. It's And it turns more soapy, I'd say, more like, soapy clean than fruity the whole time generally fruits fruit notes don't last that long they're pretty volatile um, so those are my thoughts i i would give you a really in-depth review but i feel like that's all that i have to say for this like it's just really nice really playful really fun so let me know if you try it out let me know what you think of it let me know if you're interested in picking it up what are your thoughts i'd love to hear them I just think it's amazing. So let me know if you try it and leave me a comment below. Please subscribe, please like this video if you enjoyed it, and um, I'll see you in the next one.